<laughs> Not all of us get up at 3.30 in the morning to tend our crops and animals. Present. Here. <laughs> Here. 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 Well, I just wanted to say thank you to Ken and his staff uh, from the finance department. This is a wonderful achievement, and again, it's for the fourth consecutive year, and I think it's something that um, we should recognize um, that this is not something that's easy. It's something that through um, modification of processes and ongoing um, work that's being done that um, our agency and specifically the finance department has been awarded with this recognition. So I'd like to turn it over to Ken Stanish so he can introduce his staff. I think this is a team effort so I'm really happy to have the entire finance department here. Um, we made a lot of changes over the past four or five years and I think it's you know coming to fruition as far as all of the controls and all of the documentation, but it takes everyone uh, to do their part in order to make this work. So out in the audience is Katrina, who is our accounts payable specialist. Could she stand up? Stand up. Katrina, you can stand up. Then we have Nancy, who is our payroll specialist. We have Melissa, our administrative secretary. Anna, who is our buyer. And then Dave, who is our accounting manager. starting on a positive note. <laughs> but congratulations to you. Uh, now we have the approval of the minutes. We should probably the... still point out that they were led capably by Ken. Oh, of course. <laughs> he, Ken said it's, it's easy if you do it right the first time. And, uh, approval of the minutes for June 14th. Who would, Motion. Mr. Heyman moves, Barbara Winecki seconds. Is there any additions or corrections? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. They're approved. Uh, the presentation and approval of bills for June of 2006. Don't all, oh, Mr. Dahl moves, Mr. Holscheid seconds. Would anybody like to discuss these? No discussion. A roll call vote. Yes. 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 Dahl. Yes. 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 Heyman? Yes. Oshai? Yes. Ismail? Yes. Bizarre? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Wernicke? Yes. Motion's approved. Land acquisition number 2479 resolution authorizing the reconveyance of special specific property back to the State Bank of Geneva Trust 900. 858 and 914. Would somebody like to move that? Mr. Martin moves. Mrs. Allen seconds. Is there discussion on this? I don't know. Barbara? Is, is this in regards to Mill Creek? Is that what this yes. is? Yes. Okay. Any questions about it? No. 
All in favor, we will vote roll call. Discuss this at three meetings. Allen? Aye. Hogner? Yes. Barrero? Yes. Castro? Yes. Dahl? Yes. Davos? Yes. Frost? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Heyman? Yes. Oshite? Abstain. Ismail? Yes. Pizarro? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Collick? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Yes. Snip, Mr. Leonard would like Mr. to vote Leonard, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, yes. I would vote Doc on that last <laughs> It's approved. Yes. Thank you. Under business, under 2480 is resolution establishing the prevailing rage weight. I'll make sure. To all moves, Miss, Mrs. Miss Cash, Mrs. Castro seconds. Miss. Whatever you want to say. Whatever we want to say. She seconds. <laughs> is there discussion on, discussion on this? Seeing none, we'll vote by roll call. Mr. Oh, I'll make my hand up. Yeah, that we know you're going to stand. We can count on that. I'd like to ask for a roll call vote on this. As you, as you know, I vote no on these, uh, these uh, resolutions every year, both at the Forest Preserve of the county. I'm not going to repeat myself, uh, except to say that uh, at a time when we're trying to maintain our property tax freeze and balance our budget. I don't think the uh, taxpayers should be uh, burdened with paying 10 to 20 percent extra on our capital projects uh, with this law, and I'll be voting no on this. Mr. President. Mr. Auger, did you want to say something too? I, I did. Speak up. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to say, to be consistent with my vote on the county level, I'm going to have to vote against this. This, is, As an attorney, I understand we do have to pay prevailing wage. However, this is one of those laws that was established back in the 1930s and approved in the 1940s and really should be reevaluated. Mr. Dahl. President Kenyon. Uh, <clears throat> last month I spoke in depth a little bit about this issue, and I will not speak as long as I did last month. I, uh, would like to just cite a couple excerpts from a paper that uh, Frank Monza with the Illinois Economic Policy Institute and a professor Robert Bruno from the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and a professor Kevin Duncan uh, from the Colorado State University that they uh, produced, which I'd be more than happy to provide copies to anybody after this meeting. But in it, they, uh, they, they cite the main purpose of prevailing wage laws to protect local construction standards, local labor markets, institutions, and the local economy in the competitive public bidding process. Large infusions of government spending into an area along with contract award process that favors the lowest bidder may attract contractors from areas where construction worker wage rates are lower and where the industry underinvests in skills development. Competition between local construction firms and these out-of-area contractors may result in the erosion of local compensation, standards, and institutions designed to foster skilled workers and through less local spending, a weaker local economy overall. Public construction puts local workers in the precarious position of having their wages cut in order for the contractors to achieve the low bid. Without prevailing wage, this consistent downward pressure results in local markets where construction workers do not earn living wages, sufficient to support families in the community where projects are being built, increasing reliance of taxpayer finance public assistance programs. These prevailing wage laws create a level playing field for all contractors by ensuring that public works expenditures maintain local standards. Government agencies are not allowed to grant contracts directly to local contractors due to valid concerns about patronage, and corruption. Prevailing wage laws are a solution that promotes transparent bid competition without distorting local wage rates. And because local standards are protected, public projects become more likely to be completed by contractors and construction workers from the community. And I just want to add that prevailing wage laws affect all workers the same, regardless of race, gender, veteran status, or any other factor. And prevailing wage laws help us as a public body and as public officials to fulfill our fiduciary responsibilities to the taxpayers of the county when awarding contracts. Thank you. Is there anybody else who would like to speak? <clears throat> Seeing none, we'll vote, roll call. 
Allen? Aye. Barbara? No. Barrero? Yes. Castro? Yes. Dahl? Yes. Davis? Yes. Ross? No. Gillum? Yes. Hayman? Yes. Oshai? Yes. Ismail? Yes. Bizarre? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Pollock? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? No. Wernicke? No. Motion passes. And the next one is an intergovernmental agreement resolution authorizing an intergovernmental licensing agreement with the City of Aurora for the Couch Road multi use pass at the Oakhurst Forest Preserve. Motion by Dr. Silva. Is there a second? Teresa Barrios. Barrero. 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 Burrito. Not burrito, Barrero. <laughs> burrito. <laughs> Um, is there discussion on this? Uh, this is a meandering trail, by the way, Mr. Lewis. You missed it. Thank you. We had a nice uh, presentation and talk at Executive, and I'd just like to add um, that this addition or trail connection will be um, funded by the City of Aurora. We are not going to be paying, the Forest Preserve is not paying for it or maintaining it in the future. Any other comments? Barbara? Um, if I remember right, this is the trail that goes through a uh, wetland. Uh, it's redirected through, well, you call it hydric soils. But, right, uh, right. There, the uh, area, a portion of the area is considered wetland, but the majority of it is uh, what's known as hydric soil, so it can be wet on occasion. But once the city does their engineering, um, the nice thing about this is there's our property at the district and then there's the city's right of way uh, to the east of that that you can see in the straight corridor. So depending on how the engineering comes out, the trail may be meandering back and forth in and out of the properties. Um, if they can work it out so they can keep it in the preserve, I'm sure they'd like to do that because that's more of the aesthetic location. Um, you know, for that, that trail. But I would like to also recognize Commissioner Silva for her work because this originally was um, a, a project that was introduced by her probably four years ago, I think. Oh, right. So um, it's really nice when you kind of get together and you talk about these things conceptually, especially with regional trail connections, and when they actually come to fruition and you start seeing them get, get uh, accomplished, it's really a nice feeling for the community. So. Yeah, we'll see where the trail actually goes, so stay tuned. But we should know probably within the next year, and you should probably see it constructed, I think, within the next two. That's okay. what the city was talking about. Good, thank you. Ready to vote? Roll call. Allen, aye. Parker? Yes. Guerrero? Yes. Castro? Yes. Dahl? Yes. Davis? Yes. Pride? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Heyman? Yes. Oshai? Yes. Israel? Yes. Cesare? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Pollock? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Wernicke? Yes. Motion passes. Number 2482, resolution authorizing an intergovernmental easement agreement with the village of Carpentersville for the Lincolnwood Creek crossing. <laughs> Maggie Auger moves and Joe Heyman second. I was trying to decide who she'd get. <laughs> we like the enthusiasm of North Philly. I thought he was waving at us. <laughs> Is there any discussion on this? Good deal. Good deal. Good deal. I wouldn't mind hearing some background on it, just a little bit. Would you give them a little background? Sure. This is part of the finalization of the trail connection that will take us from Buffalo Park down to the Carpentersville Dam. When we originally got the OSLAD grant for the trail connection, um, this portion was included just to the north of this, and then it was the district's responsibility to do the final connection. Um, in the process of our bridge project over the creek, um, our bids came in considerably over budget, and so our option was to either put more money into the budget to complete our bridge, um, but Jerry Culp contacted the village of Carpentersville and they had an existing bridge widening project that they were uh, in the process of working out. And so it was thought we'd be better off to kind of join forces and put the connection at this one location. So Carpentersville agreed to modify their plans to allow for the bridge widening 
and it's going to cost the district the same amount of money that it would have in the original budget. So the cost savings to us is not to have to add any more money to the budget to accomplish the creek crossing. Now you'll see that um, on the map uh, uh, above me, the aqua uh, trail, you can see it's coming down to the creek. That will be removed and the grindings used for the final completion of the trail connection to get you to the Lincolnwood Road Bridge. Um, but the uh, project will be led by Carpentersville, and in its completion, we will then reimburse them for um, the 54000 at that time. Any questions? Rebecca? I just wanted to say that I think this is a great uh, cooperative uh, uh, project with the village of Carpentersville. The square on the left-hand side of the roadway is a playground, mm -hmm. and the um, I like that the road is being widened because the natural path to the other side is to go down that road anyway. So for the people to cross and take the trail, I think, would not have been utilized as much as this um, project will. And this is not a busy road, and the widening will be beneficial. So I really do support this project. Ready to vote? Okay. Allen. Aye. Parker? Yes. Herrera? Castro? Yes. Dahl? Yes. Davis? Yes. Fraz? Yes. Killen? Yes. Hayman? Yes. 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 <coughs> yes. Yes. Kizar? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Molina? Yes. Pollock? Yes. Silva? Yes. Smith? Yes. Sterrett? Yes. Wernicke? Yes. Motion passes. There's no need for the executive session, but the, as since we started on a positive thing, I noticed in my Kane County Connects, our own John Martin received, see, that's what happens when you're famous, John. I've, he received the Alliance Club's highest award for his fundraising effort at the 79th Annual Installation Banquet. Congratulations to you, sir. We're going to use your talents in other ways to raise money. Like You're a roar. <laughs> um, we have to put a motion to put all the reports on file. Mr. Heyman moves. Ms. 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 Sterrett second. Ms. All in favor, say aye. 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 Um, is there any more business to come before the meeting? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Mr. Heyman, Mr. Lewis seconds. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.